Good morning, my friends. Welcome to the second installment of Eros FPV Training Academy. On today's episode, we will be learning how to do a. I don't know what it's called. Uh, we're actually going to come up with a name today because I don't know what the fuck you called it. Um, it's kind of a. Uh, I think you call it a. A tree swing, uh, uh, an in and out, uh, like the first half of a trippy spin. I don't know. It's like it's when you go around the tree, but you're like looking at it backwards. And if you keep going, you end up doing a trippy spin. So we're going to learn how to do a trippy spin too. You get two tricks today. Yeah, it should be a great day at the park with the homies in some safe trees and grass and stuff. Please let me know what you think. I'll leave a comment below and hopefully you learned something today. There's one thing I wanted to mention. Uh, so I haven't really announced this or anything, but I've been working pretty closely with Beta FPV, trying out some of their like find and fly quads. Um, and uh, I've been having a great time. Some of you might have seen like the Instagram lives I did uh, during like when the quarantine started, I was doing an Instagram live almost every day, flying my little whoops around my front yard and stuff. So I want to give a huge shout out to Beta FPV. Thank you guys. Um, I really, really enjoy these little tiny, little tiny guys a lot, uh, especially this Meteor 65. This thing, I've been flying the crap out of it. Uh, I have Crossfire on it. I mean, there's an Immortal T. Um, you'll probably see some of the some flying from this little guy today but yeah i just wanted to show you guys and uh just really say thank you to beta fpv and uh another huge shout out to all the rest of my sponsors uh you know hq prop newbie drone uh diatone uh really helping a brother out um so i really appreciate it and yeah let's go uh let's go fly some drones and stuff the best shirt I've ever bought in my life. So, you want to see what I bring with me when I go fly? Eventually, I'd like to make a video um, dissecting like my backpack and stuff. Uh, I've had a couple people ask me like, what my setup is, what my rates are. Uh, so, there will be a time where I uh, go over all of that. Um, I'll probably sit down uh, honestly kind of like steel did and just empty out my entire backpack and show you guys um, Show you guys what I use on the on a daily basis and all that uh, Well, maybe not daily, but I'll show you guys what I use every time I go fly and stuff. So uh, Anyway, look at my back seat. Uh, I got a backpack full of quads uh, three quads GoPro batteries uh, a bunch of good stuff in there um, See uh, today I brought the Cinewhoop because uh you never know when you're gonna want to need some fancy b-roll and stuff like that uh, I got my laptop bag and my uh, dreaded apex that I've been working on it seems like every time I put something in my apex uh, it catches fire or explodes or something for some reason it just doesn't want to fly uh, and then I have my little DJI bag here which there's no DJI stuff in here so don't get any ideas um, in the DJI bag I have a uh, like tiny whoops, um, extra goggles, chargers, uh, just anything I might need out in the field. Um, and of course, your standard Wawa bag full of goodies and shit that I bought. So, all right, we're gonna hit the road. Yeah, let's see you at the spot. Peace.
Copyright strike. Oh yeah, let's get that. You can't play good music on YouTube or uh, you get in trouble. What up? What's good? What's up, V-Rad? Nice to see you here again. Oh, what is that giant freaking thing flying around? Oh shit, there's a tire. What's up, motherfucker? Say hi to them. What's up, my face? How huh? doing? Okay, so we're gonna unpack and just hang out for a little while and buy some stuff. So uh, hang tight and we'll get around to the learning stuff really soon. We have been trying to come up with a name for this trick and so far we've come up with several and there seems to be several on the internet there's the lazy head side the puker the puker yeah the puker yeah, the spin dive 540. That's a terrible name. what the hell is that uh, Four, uh, it, look yo what is a twizzle stick yeah that's, i got one of those <laughs> 720 aileron roll and pitch flip that is, i don't even know what that means just I think we're just gonna come up with a name for it. I think we're just gonna make some shit right. up. The, 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 I don't know. The whoop de doo Anyway. Okay, so before I start this, if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, the trick basically goes like this. Flying up of a tree, you sort of go in at a weird angle, and then you're like kind of looking back at the tree as you go around it and coming back out and then you do whatever the hell you want so you can do that and uh if you keep it nice and locked in you can actually just like keep orbiting around the tree and the trick is you're sort of orbiting backwards so it's like a regular orbit but your quad is completely turned to 180 and being that your camera's angled enough um you should be able to kind of look back a little bit and still be uh, still be mostly upright so let's get to it and just see it's always interesting trying to dissect these tricks because most of the time I don't really think about them when I'm doing them so it's ought to be pretty interesting good luck oh my god Is it in the fucking tree? Wait, what are you talking about? The prop wrench? Bro, the prop fucking flew off. You got the nut there. It's gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> uh, tighten your fucking props. <laughs> Tutorial take two. Step one, find a tree. All right. I see some crazy rain coming, so let's see. Let's start by cruising around. Would you, would you turn around? Yeah. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> I guess I can use this pole since it's out in the open. Pretty freaking cool, but that's the trick right there. Uh, you kind of come in and you... It really helps to just focus your... 
focus, uh, well, put your focus on the object, and you can kind of uh, translate that into your fingers. I mean, your brain will do it for you, but essentially, you want to come in from an angle on one side, kind of like this, and pitch back, and yeah, so if you just pitch back, keep looking at it, then you'll go past it, and then you'll be flying backwards. That's one thing you can do first. The next step on that would be to yaw outward. So if I'm pitching back, I'm going to yaw left. And you see how it kind of tracks it. Yaw left and pitch back forward. And you uh, kind of do the whole swing. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So once you do that, if you can kind of hold it in place once you do this, and oh, okay, that was a horrible trippy spin, but that would be how you get into a trippy spin. Um, essentially, it's an orbit, but your heart is backwards. I'm better at it coming in from one side than the other. Usually, I can do the swing coming in on the left, and then the trippy spin. Trippy spin, I have to do it from the right side for some reason. There we go. Thing's not really tall enough. And then when I want to get out of it, I just kind of pitch forward and I bounce. I got one minute till the rain comes. All right, so let's do another one of the in and out free swing whoop de doos uh, I got coming from the left out of 45, right? Coming in from that left, pitch back. Yeah. This the key is pitch back and level yourself out. One more. Coming in from the left side, pitching back, yawing left. Yeah, you have to really just look at the sticks because I'm really bad at explaining the stick motions, but <laughs> All right, that was fun oh, Shit, all right, well ah, It's raining my quads down Holy shit! Where's my quad? I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. It's starting to rain, so I'm running. <laughs> but hey, if you have any questions or anything, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, please. Thank you guys for watching, man. Uh, I'll see you on the next trick tutorial.
Bonus footage! Slow.